Come on, Charmander. You almost got it. with the morning video bro but before we get started with the video give this video a thumbs up let's get it over 500 likes boy all right a new pokemon game has been announced i kid you not that's what i woke up to this morning is it going to be the sequel to the highly anticipated and very controversial Sword and Shield Animation Gate? Nope. Is Nintendo reviving the 3DS Pokemon games? XY? We never got Z. Y'all remember? The rumor was we're gonna get Pokemon Z? Is it gonna be Pokemon Z? Nope. It is a mobile game. That's right. Pokemon Company and Tencent have announced that they are developing a new mobile game. Now, it could do what, uh, what was the name of that Pokemon game that came to the Switch and a mobile device? So it could eventually come to the Switch, but more than likely, it's probably just going to be a, um, a new Pokemon game for your mobile device, bro. I was looking for my phone. It's right here. And so... Um, that's all the only information we got that they have announced a new Pokemon game coming to mobile devices more information is forthcoming so the next news item that we're gonna be talking about in this epic video bro there's a couple of dope news items we still got for this video crash team racing has been updated bro and on the switch you can still only connect with your friends half the time. Half the time it says unable to connect or, un or a person is unable, jo not joinable. That's what it says. You know what they fixed? Load times. I feel like Charmander right now, bro. Just running around in a circle. This has been my most disappointing game for 2019. Because the gameplay is so dope. But I don't want to play against the computer. I got this primarily to play online and to play with friends. And online connection to friends is suspect at its best. And it's not just a Switch, it's Switch issue. I got this for my Xbox One too. And it's the same problem on the Xbox One. But on the Xbox One, they have universal invite systems. More online features where you can invite your friends, not just through the game, but through the system. And so I'm able to connect with my friends by connecting through the system. But if you try to go in-game to connect, garbage. This speaks to Nintendo. Give us better online features too. Mario Kart is still the king of carts. I don't care what anybody says. All right, a next news item. The results for the final Splatfest have been announced. As some of you know, Team Chaos won the final Splatfest, as some of you know. I demand a recount, as some of you know. The Russians had something to do with the final Splatfest. Ivanka Trump, she's in on it. But, more than just the Splatfest inform, um, results, Splatoon 3. Nintendo has said that they haven't even started development on Splatoon 3. And I was like, what? 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 I thought they were getting ready to announce Splatoon 3. But I, I tell you this, man. Nintendo needs to do to pull an Overwatch for Splatoon. What do I mean? It easily could have been three Overwatches by now. Overwatch 1, 2, and 3. But instead, the developers have kept the same game. And they've just added 
content. It's just a it's an endless game. They're just going to continue to add more content and more features to the one game. The next Splatoon game shouldn't even be, have a number behind it, in my opinion. It should just be Splatoon. I mean, if completely revamp like the the graphical assets because in, in many ways Splatoon 2 is almost like Splatoon 1.5, bro. To keep it a buck. To keep it a buck. But they need a complete overall, overall, overhaul of the game. Have mechs in the game. Have ninja type um, inklings, bro. Have more army type inklings. I change the archetype of the different inklings and keep it in the third person, though. That's that's one thing I like about Splatoon. I'm not a big fan of first person shooter. Some first person shooters, Paladins, is late. and I like Overwatch. But most first person shooters, I prefer a third person perspective where you can see your character. Um, keep the third person perspective, keep the core gameplay where you're still swimming through ink and all that stuff. But um, change it up a bit, um, new uh, graphical assets, and just add more content, bro. A Splatoon Battle Royale mode would be lit, just as one mode in the game. And then have your standard rank matches. A death match. Figure out how to do a death match in Splatoon, where you're not so dependent on your teammates, bruh. I would crush it in death matches, bro. Uh, most ranked matches, I'm leading my squad in splats. And so, Splatoon 2 is officially done. I'm hoping that they still add content, still up update the game. We need something until. Splatoon 3 comes out, but this is Nintendo's multiplayer shooter. This is their primary multiplayer shooter uh, until Metroid Prime comes out, and we have online in Metroid Prime 4. Come on, Nintendo. Do it. Do it. But Splatoon 2 still lit, though. Still be playing that Splatoon, man. You can't get, get at me in Splatoon, bro. All right. Other news item. Fire Emblem 3 Houses comes out in a matter of days in less than a week fire emblem three houses drops on the switch i think it's july 26 no no not july 26 um i'm getting a launch date now but either way fire emblem three houses launches in a matter of days and i already said that this is going to be the best selling game yeah it is july 26 is the launch date this is going to be the best game in game best selling game in the series Everything about the game looks dope. Um, this is the most hyped I've ever been for a Fire Emblem game. So that's like, like I said before, I've beaten all the Fire Emblem games on the 3DS. Um, and just can't wait to sink my teeth into a home console Fire Emblem game. And this game is said to have over 200 hours of content if you do all three um, story arcs. So, can't wait. I have a certified idea of which house I'm going to be rocking with. But... I'm gonna see. I'm gonna check out more more details on each house before I make that decision. I'm playing on permadeath, boy. We're gonna be lit in that fire emblem. And the last news item for this stream, as if the Switch wasn't killing it enough already. It's been reported now. Amazon just had almost like their Black Friday. It's called Amazon Prime Day. Amazon Prime Day 2019. Where you could find crazy deals on different products. And it's being reported that the Switch was the most searched for product on Amazon Prime Day. And that part, partially may have something to do with the new Switch Lite announcement. But I think even if the Switch Lite announcement didn't come, the Switch would have been the most um, searched for product. It's, it's a product for everybody, bro. It's going to kill it this holiday season. Mark my words. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we discussed in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. Sigh.